So hey, I wanted to jump on real quick. I told you guys yesterday I would <clears throat> hop on and um, let you in on who is here at Lightspeed. We have a um, we have a couple of pretty big name celebrities here, and unfortunately, I have been um, given the thumbs down to being able to live stream it. So, hey, Brandon, how you doing, bro? Good to see you. Scott, Scott, what's up? Hank Norman. <clears throat> so, listen, um, I can't, I mean, I can't show you, but I can tell you who's here. Um, we have, I'm sure that you guys have all heard of um, Louis Anderson. Louis Anderson is here. He's actually friends with, hey, oh, man, am I going to butcher your name? Re, is it Rhiannon? Rhiannon? Is that right? So we have Louis Anderson here and we have um, Carrot Top. You guys know those two guys? Carrot Top and Louis Anderson are here. <clears throat> they are using our studio right now <clears throat> to do something. It's a, I can't tell you who they're doing it for, unfortunately because it's a big surprise for a very, very famous celebrity. Um, maybe one of the most famous celebrities on the planet right now. <clears throat> on TV, I can tell you that. So, um, anyway, they're doing a big... <laughs> this is still alive. So, they're doing a big surprise for, um, for somebody and... Um, yeah, so I, I the uh, somebody's in there, kind of directing all of this, um, and said I said, hey, we're supposed to be live streaming this, and they said they they don't want you to live stream it because it's a surprise for somebody, and we don't want it out on the internet. So, um, that's the deal. Although I I did, um, well, I met Louis the other day. Brad, Brad, like I said, is friends with him. Yes, funny day at light speed. So um, I met Louie the other day. What a super, super nice guy. And then um, met, hey, Leah Marie, I see you there. Steven Walker, how you doing, bro? Dan Keller, how you doing, bro? Um, so yeah, I met Louie Anderson the other day. He's back today. He brought Carrot Top with him. I'm and on speaking circuit. Huh? I'm I'm on Facebook Live. So Come on. You're on Facebook? I thought you were on with Dan there. No. I'm live right now. Come on in. Got Charlie Chena. Oh, Charlie yeah, Chena. I'm going on the speaking circuit. Look. What's up? Look at this guy. Look, always out dressing me. How's that even? Man. Justin. Justin, what's up, bro? How you doing? Katie Shane all the way from down under. Hey, we had Danelle here a little bit ago. Danelle and Danelle's Mandy. looking mean and mean, Danelle. She is, isn't she? Laura. Don't mess with her, dude. She'll knock you out. So I was telling them we're not allowed to Facebook Live because they're doing a surprise for somebody special that we're not allowed to talk about. <laughs> but um, it is Louis Anderson and Carrot Top that are here. I told them yesterday. Don't tell anybody, dude. I, well, I'm not telling them what they're doing. I can't. We can't. It's a secret. I know. It's a big play, though. It's a huge play. It's one of the most famous people in the world right now on TV, probably. Yeah, I'd say that. Right? Absolutely. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Anyway, so yeah, it's pretty cool, but they, they shut us down. Charlie, the vice president of sales, Charlie, was even back there and said, hey, Brad wants us to Facebook Live this, and they shut us down. They said no. And we we got, don't shut it down. <clears throat> we don't that get we don't get shut down, do we? Shut it down. Taffer is the only guy that shut stuff down. I John know. Taffer. John Taffer, that's your client. That's my client. John Taffer. So anyway, um, we have 17 people on here, and Grant's live right now too. Oh, uh, dude, we're taking a, this away from Grant. You no. think he's gonna miss it? No, I don't either. Probably not. But I appreciate. Hey, Katie, how are you? Listen, I'd like so, to I'd like to hang around, but I got a couple deals to close because I am not <laughs> going to allow Ken to outsell me this month. I'm gonna let him think he could outsell me, but got, no way, dude. I'm on it. He's got some work to do. 
Yeah, you better get back at it, dude. I mean, work it hard. You better work late tonight. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, Charlie. Come here. Hold on. Let's just walk in his office. Let me show you his office. Look, I'm right here. I'm right over here by his office. We had free lunch Friday brought in. Five guys, burgers and fries today. That's 50, 50 grand. I want look, all the cash up front. Look. 50 grand up front. Visa, come on, bro. You're going to throw me off by <laughs> on with a client. Oh, sorry. Who are you on with? Les Brown? I can't tell you. Is Les your client? Les is my client. Nice. Tony Robbins, who your client? Tony Robbins, John Taffer, who else? Uh, John Taffer, you got some big names, dude. I do. Who's some of your MLMs? Uh, gosh, I've got. Uh, hey, Justin Sokol. Janesse Global, yeah. Yeah, Nerium's a client. <clears throat> Nerium. Uh, the Limu Company just signed. Great, great company out of Florida. Damn. Uh, Monet, another company out of uh, Miami. They're jamming. Jamming. Hey, Justin wants to know, Charlie, what is the most important thing you do every day? It's, it sounds minute, but... There's Eddie Martin walking by. Every day I'm, I'm, I'm prospecting. Every single day I'm prospecting and I'm following up. I mean, when I wake up in the morning, I'm, I'm, I'm hunting. That's what's on my mind. Who, who, who am I going to prospect? Who am I going to tell about the opportunity? And, you know, who am I going to follow up with and who am I going to close? Well, and again, not, not the close, close well, just... I, well, I'm, I'm trying to zoom in on the picture behind you. Look, look at the picture of his beautiful wife and kids. You know that dude's a closer. That's a close right there. That dude's a closer. Yeah, but I'm just constantly, <clears throat> constantly moving throughout the course of the day. Like um, Wednesday, for example, I, uh, I got a phone. I got actually got a phone call Tuesday night. A friend of mine, it's a, a, a Lightspeed affiliate, said, "Hey." Supposed to be in Arizona, make a presentation to 60, 60 people for an insurance company. They want a VT to train their agents. They got 1,100 agents. Very successful company. Owner of the company's young guy, 41, right? Flew in on his jet. Very successful dude. I said, okay, I'll do it. Next day, I was on a plane, right? Did my appointments, did my demos. Caught a, a 5 o'clock flight to uh, Phoenix. Now, knowing I'm going there... I called the top money earner at an MLM company called Origami Owl. I don't know if you guys know about Origami Owl. It was started by a 24-year-old, excuse me, a 14-year-old girl and her mother. She wanted some extra money to buy a car. She started selling jewelry at an arm's length, knocking doors, did a kiosk. Next thing you know, her company's doing $250 million through direct sales model. Wow. All that being said, <laughs> no, I'm going to Phoenix, picked up the phone set an appointment with a lady by the name of Tammy Butcher, had dinner with her, right? Talking about getting her on the platform, getting Origami Owl on the platform, better training her, her distributors. Got up the next morning, made calls, went to my meeting, did my presentation for 60 people, left there, had a meeting at Isogenic. So I went for one reason, for one appointment. I did three appointments in 24 hours and made several other calls during the course of the day. So. So you I guess, you're filling the pipeline, keeping it yeah, bursting just, at it, the it, seams. It's just a, it's just a mindset. I th yeah. You just, you can't burn time. That's right. Time waits for absolutely no one. That's right. And you know, I had this conversation with my nephew that's in the insurance business, 25 years old. I said, "Listen, man, you're only, you're only 25 once. Whatever you can do with your market, right? Whatever your reach is at 25, right? Kids are just getting out of school. Again, they're young adults." Um, uh, I don't. I don't mean that literally, but they're kids. Kids to me, but <laughs> these young adults are getting out of school, right? They they need insurance. In his case, everybody's a prospect. Yeah. So I said, you need to do everything you can to educate yourself and squeeze every minute of every day and focus on generating revenue. That's the key. Yeah. And again, if people don't have your product, you're not doing. If you believe in your product to the point to where you know what it could do for somebody and they don't have your product, you're doing them a disservice. That's so you right. have to believe in <clears throat> to the point to where you're gonna do everything in your power to you know, inspire them, convince them, let them see the value that you're bringing to the table. Dude, you got it here, hold on. 
people like you gotta like i saw robin bernard robin i was just on your stream there for a little bit it was choppy but you weren't engaging with your audience people were saying hi to you and you didn't say hi so i'm trying to show charlie people are talking to you and you need to you need to engage well, with i'm them. gonna say hi to robin hi robin so look Look, there's some people saying, like, Charlie's dropping fire. Justin said up here, thanks, Ken. Thank you, Charlie. Like, dude, talk to your peeps, man. Steven, dropping the bombs. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Yeah, well, Ken's my mentor as far as social media goes. Um, as, as, as some of you know, during my short time of really engaging in Facebook Lives, I mean, at the end of the day, I, I, I'm a sales guy. I love to sell. So if I can give you, um, I guess, some, some words of wisdom, it shouldn't matter. It should, it, let me rephrase it. It doesn't matter to me in particular what I'm selling, right? I need to believe in the product or the service. And at the end of the day, we're all in the distribution business, whether you're selling insurance, whether you're selling VT systems, well, you know, whether you're, 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 you're selling tickets to the Bronx tail. Say sorry, we got in. Ken just 86 his wife. Oh, dude, you got big ones. <laughs> but we're all in the distribution business, right? We're mm -hmm. all moving a product or moving a service. So if you believe in that product enough, right, and, and, and you build the value of that product. Mandy Madden, she was just here. What's up, Mandy? Is there a question? Hey, Carrie Ann, read them, dude. And welcome people when they come in. I got to welcome people. I'm not, don't leave me alone, Ken. I'm not going to know what to do. Mandy, what's happening? Randy, John, Randy, Jonathan, what's happening? So, hey, Carrie Ann. So, getting back, we're all in the distribution business. At the end of the day, it's about driving revenue. It's about doing the basics, right? If you pick up the phone once a day to make a call, that's not going to do it. If you're picking up the phone 10 times a day, you're going to increase your percentages. The reality is if you do it 20, 30 times a day, Right, your closing rates can even go up. Now, while you're practicing on all of these phone calls, while you're practicing your craft, you're practicing your timing and flow, you're putting together various word tracks, right? And and you're really reaching out to people and finding out what their pain points are. There's Clara. Clara, Clara. what's happening? What's up, Clara? You will increase your closing percentage. When I first started selling, I started selling advertising products on the phone. And a guy told me, Charlie, you need to get on the phone and read the script. I said, I, I sound choppy. It feels so animated. He said, then learn it. Learn it to the point to where you know the script inside and out. So when you get on the phone, you sing. And I didn't know what he meant by that initially. But what he meant was when you can sing a song and you got the timing and you got the flow and you got the rhythm, right, you're going to sound much more confident, make a much better presentation, and your closing percentage is going to be up. This guy, Joe oh, Justin, my product is a remodeling company, is the highest level of service you can find, would be crazy for you to use anyone else. My number is, dude, I like it. <laughs> I like it. Actually, um, prior to coming to Lightspeed, I was oh. actually in the construction industry, did a lot of home remodeling, did a lot of high-end condos, here in town when the condos first started being built here in Vegas, like Turnberry Towers, Sky Condominiums. So I did everything from, you know, uh, flooring. Oh, this is my daughter right here. Should I take that call? Yeah, I got to take it. Sophia, hey, I'm on a live stream hey, right now with Ken Balls. Up? We're Facebook live and We're going to push some origami out. What's up, Clara? Oh, How you doing? Hang on a second. Hang on. What, now, on. what'd you say? Can I have Ken's number to call him later? Why do you need to call Ken? For my business. What business are you in? Word on the L. What, what, are they, what do you do? I sell necklaces, watches, and jewelry. And what, Well, a lot of people sell necklaces, watches, and jewelry. What makes you so special? Because we do charms that represent your story, and you can put whatever you want in it. Really? Yeah. Well, Mr. Walls is right right here. Would you like to set an appointment with him? Yes. Go ahead. Let me hear your pitch. Hello. Hey, Ken. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm good. I was wondering when you wanted to come to the house and look at the necklaces. Oh, I don't know if I have time to come to the house. Can you come to me? Yeah, I can. What day is good for you? 
Um, I have some time this afternoon. Um, well, I was actually going to a carnival with my friend today, but do you oh. think Monday or something would be good? What's that? Monday would be good for you? Sure. Okay. Let's let's try to make that happen. I'll look at my calendar. I'm staying in your dad's office, so I I don't have my calendar. You better lock me. in a time, little girl. You better lock in a time. He's busy. He's very busy. <laughs> two options. Give me two options. Say, would Monday work for you, or would Tuesday be better? Would Monday be good, or Tuesday be better? I'm not sure. I'll have to look at my calendar still. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry. Listen, he's going to be a rollover. Uh, you got, you already you? got my business. I'll, I'll, I'll meet with you I here gotta soon. I got to go, baby. I love you. <laughs> but, uh, actually, that's a great story. I went to uh, Origami Owl, as some of you might have seen, that follow me about a week or two ago, toured the facility, uh, talking to some of their executive team about what Lightspeed can do for them. And I saw these incredible jewelry products and I, and I said to the lady, I said, is this something that my daughter can do? Like, she always talks about wanting a car and wanting to pay for college, and she's hungry. So they actually have a, pro, a program out there called the Owlette Program. And she had to sign up under my wife. Long story short, I told her, listen, you can join. There was a $99 way to join, a $199, and a $399. She opted for the $399. And when I told her that I'd you know, give her the money. I said, Dad, I'll you know, give you the money and go partners. She looked at me and said, Dad, I have my own money. Boom. I, I'd rather not have a partner. This way, <laughs> anything I make, I keep for myself. Nice. So the kid knows about commitment. <clears throat> wow. She's already uh, sold about $1,500 worth of merchandise. Look, I so gotta, I'm proud of her. I got to show some, like, and yeah, what, what his daughter's doing is pretty amazing. I gotta show. I want to show people some stuff in your. Go office. ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Look, first you gotta tell me. Look, who is that right there with you and your wife? That's Polly Walnuts from The Sopranos. Polly Walnuts from The Sopranos. Look at that. <clears throat> That's how much of a baller Charlie Chena is. So if you guys aren't like following Charlie, well, you're just dumb. Sorry, but you are. He's a badass. Look. Look at that. Look at that. Do you know that guy? I, I don't know if people would know that, but that guy right there, yeah. HBO, Larry Merchant. He's yeah. old now. He's got the gray hair. He's always doing the fights. Yeah. That was Larry Merchant back in the 70s when, when he was oh, uh, really? just coming up the ranks. Wow. Check it out. And who's this up here? That is um, Chaz Palmateri from the... Well, the play Bronx Tale that was obviously uh, up. He was, wasn't he a Soprano? Wasn't he on Sopranos? Yeah, he was, I don't think he was in the Sopranos, but he did the movie The Bronx Tale as well. Oh, uh, okay. With Robert De Niro. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, we went to the concert, or excuse me, we went to the play. Yeah. Last minute, got a seat, and at the end, uh, my wife goes, I'd like to meet him. <laughs> so nice. So I'm like, well, I don't know how we're going to do that. So I'm walking out, and I pulled one of the ushers, and I said, <laughs> hey, man, any, any chance... We could get back there to meet Chaz, and the guy goes, "No, he goes not unless you got one of the VIP tickets for a meet and greet." So I said, "Well, come on, bro, I'll take care of you." So he goes, "No, I don't want your money." I said, "Well, thanks anyway." So we're walking out of the theater. The guy, as we're stepping out, grabs me. He goes, "Hey," he goes, "Come on, I can get you and your wife back there." So we nice. ended up going back, and we spent about I don't know, probably talked to him for about ten minutes. Great guy. Wow, that's freaking awesome, yeah. dude! What a great story. So Charlie's Charlie's old school. He knows how to freaking build relationships. Hey, if you were doing an MLM, which I know you're not, right? No. So, but if you were, how would you build it? Because there's a lot of people on here that 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 you know. First thing are, I would do is follow Ken Walls. <laughs> That's the first thing. First Come thing on, I would man. do and learn about social media. You know, so, so right now I think it's probably the best time to be in network marketing, obviously because of, of social media, and really even um, how everything is set up right now through obviously uh, you know internet websites and etc. I'll give you I'll give you an example. As I told you, my daughter just became a rep of Origami Owl, so she joined. They immediately gave her her own website, Sophia China S O P H I A C I N A dot 
OrigamiOwl.com. How do you spell origami? Origami, O-R... G-A-M-I? Yep, origami. And then O-W-L? Yep, origami owl. So I'm actually looking here because someone just sent me a, an email or a, or a Facebook from, from um, the company. But at any rate, that being said, her first day, she sent out a Facebook through uh, my wife. My wife's mother picked it up, said, hey, my granddaughter's in this business. Literally, first day, yeah. my, my daughter sold like $65. Yeah. Necklace. That's awesome. Um, her first week, you know, how she's old is she? she's thirteen. And how much how much has she made so far? Uh, well, she has turned fifteen hundred dollars worth of merchandise. So whatever that yeah. nets out, I don't want anybody to quote you know, me. But and how how long has she been doing it? A not month? even ten days. Uh, yeah, what? she's actually going to have ten days, and she's, yeah, ten she's days. Made this... a bunch of money, and and there's people on here right now. I don't know if they're on here, maybe watching the replay or something, but. There's people that are going to see this that are struggling with with paying their yeah I would venture dollar hundred dollar electric bill yeah I would venture to say if you found a direct sales company and I've been able again I was at Isagenix yesterday in Arizona they're they're a, a wellness company you know they sell protein shakes and fitness and and they've got some real big people involved in the company that are athletic professionals I mean they're they're the real deal they're doing almost a billion dollars they had a campus there. Uh, above and beyond the product, I mean, just being around those type of people and learning sales acumen, leadership, right, how to, how to network, getting out of your comfort zone. I mean, if you joined any reputable company that uses MLM or social network. Uh, hey, there's know, Becky Farias. Hey, What's Becky? up, Becky? Or social sharing. I'm, I'm telling you, you will learn so much and take quantum leaps um, above and beyond the obvious. But I know people that, um, there's a guy, Josh Denny, he's with Secret, you know, a uh, friend of the guy invited me over his house. I mean, he's a young guy. He's probably still in, in his 30s. Josh, if you're watching this, kudos to you. But the guy's, you know, blowing it up. I mean, making huge money. Started off with $399. So, again, you know, what's it all about? Does it take money to make money? Yes, it does. But I've started companies with sample books, knocking doors, generating revenue, buying more product, knocking yep. more doors, yep. and, 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 and turned them into small, you know, seven-figure businesses, $1.8, $2 million, $3 million companies. So it's possible. Yep. It's time or money. It takes money to make money or it takes time to make money. If you don't have a lot of money, make the commitment and put the time in, and you'll succeed. That's it. All right, listen, I just want to hop on for a minute. Love every one of you. Appreciate you being on here. If you're not following Charlie Chena, I did not tag him in this post. I will go back and Dude, edit that, it. That was rude. I know, I know. How rude. But <clears throat> Charlie, C-I-N-A is his last name. Send him a friend request. Becky, I love you too. You rock. I love you. Thank you for being on here. Appreciate every last one of you for jumping in here. I really do. So Charlie just laid down some nuggets. And, and listen, not, not everybody has the kahunas to just go backstage and meet that dude and take their wife back. This dude knows how to get it done, and you got to just hustle. So appreciate you being here. Say later, man. Have a great weekend, everybody. Hey, don't, don't just blow off the weekend. Dig in, read something, watch something, listen to something, make a difference. And that's the bottom line. Later.